Every era has defining ideas and once-in-a-lifetime innovations that are born out of the decisive effort of one man. This is the same kind of ingenuity that emanated from Wisconsin in the 1920s, which ended up becoming a billion-dollar heavy machinery manufacturing company that changed the face of construction, mining, agriculture, and marine industries forever. Let's watch how Caterpillar went from a local steam tractor maker to the number one heavy machinery manufacturing company worth an astounding $190.35 billion. The origin and foundation of Caterpillar. During the American Wild West period around the 1880s, visionary businessman, mechanical genius, and inventor Benjamin Leroy Holt and his brother Ames Frank Holt invested $65,000 to purchase a mini machinery manufacturing plant in Stockton County, California. This investment brought about the creation of Holt Manufacturing Company in 1883, which specialized in the production of horse-drawn machinery, such as coach and wagon wheels, carriage bodies, and agricultural machinery, most especially the Link Belt Combine Harvester. Living around the agrarian town of Stockton, Benjamin Holt was unsatisfied by the reduced efficiency of horse-drawn machinery. So, he went ahead to design the first mechanical steam tractor that had a 60-horsepower engine, a 12-inch piston, and a water-carrying capacity of nearly 700 gallons, bringing the tractor's total weight to 22,000 wheat. The success was relatively short-lived due to the heavy weight of the tractor, which occasionally sank it into the farmland of the San Joaquin Delta Valley, bringing great disrepute to the Holt Manufacturing Company. Holt Manufacturing Company's tractor failure in the field engulfed the world, together with over 100 others related to failed testing, most especially in England, which was then the center of innovations. In 1903, Benjamin Holt traveled to England to study other failed patents' numerous mechanical and design problems. His travels inspired him to use continuous tracks, and he returned to Stockton to operationalize his ideas by replacing the wheel on his number 77 tractors with a set of wooden tracks bolted to chains. On Thanksgiving Day, November 24, 1904, Benjamin Holt called his company photographer, Charles Clement, to capture and document the first ever field testing of his new crawler type tractor, which showed promising results. During the documentation process, the company photographer remarked that the wooden tracks rose and fell over the carrier like a caterpillar, giving Benjamin Holt the cue for a name to describe his newfound success and, eventually, the birth of the crawler type tractor production line. The key role of Holt Caterpillar Company in World War I. On August 2nd, 1910, a few months after purchasing the company's first assembly plant in East Peoria, Illinois, Benjamin Holt patented the name Caterpillar and started a large-scale operation with 12 employees. World War I was a beacon of opportunity for Caterpillar. The British War Office contracted the company to supply over 1,300 track-type tractors to the front line for hauling artillery like howitzers and military supplies. However, the changing landscape of warfare tactics threatened the Caterpillar Company's survival when the British government decided to develop a British tank, which was contracted to an English firm at the expense of Holt Caterpillar. The company's merger with C.L. Ben Gas Tractor Company. Amidst all the struggle, Benjamin Holt went back to his drawing board. This time, it was not for another tractor design. Instead, it was for how to navigate his company's tumultuous period. He sniffed around and noticed that his close competitor, C.L. Best Gas Tractor Company, which had also had the same government contract terminated, was in the same precarious situation. During this time, CL Best Gas Tractor already secured government support to supply farmers with small agricultural tractors, which gave them a larger market share and expanded its production to the development of the more efficient CL Best Model 60 track layer. As a man of principle, Benjamin Holt approached CL Best Company for a possible merger into one for stability and growth. On December 5, 1920, 
Shortly before the final ratification of the merger, Benjamin Holt died after a few months long illness. What comes next is as good as your guess. The bank and bankers who held the Holt Caterpillar Company's debt took over the company's control and installed Thomas A. Baxter to succeed Benjamin Holt. In 1925, Harry H. Fair of the Bond Brokerage House of Pierce and Fair's Company, the financial backer of CL Best Company, approached key stakeholders of Holt Caterpillar about their financial difficulties. The both parties proceeded with the initial merger of both companies into one. So, the more financially buoyant CL Best Company merged with the market-leading Holt Caterpillar to form the Caterpillar Tractor Company. The new dawn era for the Caterpillar Tractor Company commenced, and it was first consolidated by relocating the company headquarters to San Leandro and replacing Baxter with Clarence Leo Best as CEO in the same year. In 1930, the Caterpillar Tractor Company continued to navigate the Great Depression by consolidating its production line to only five track tractor models, Holt Caterpillar's two-ton, five-ton, and 10-ton models, while the CL Best Tractor Company's Caterpillar 60 and Caterpillar 30 make up the Caterpillar Tractor Company's production line. The merger ended up becoming a masterstroke due to the increasing number of sales, starting from $13 million in the first year, rising to $53 million the following year, and continuing throughout the Great Depression. Adoption of diesel engines to replace gasoline. In 1929, C.L. Best came up with the diesel engine idea, and he based his reasoning on the increased fuel efficiency and greater output torque of diesel engines compared to gasoline engines, and, most importantly, the retooling of the company's core businesses. So, the Caterpillar Tractor Company started assembling the old Betsy diesel engine with serial number 1A15 in June 1930 and was deemed ready for production by late 1931. The proactive development of Caterpillar's diesel engine eventually shot the company to fame, most especially during World War II, when the company was contracted to supply the United States construction battalions with all the diesel-powered heavy machinery needed for the construction of airfields and other facilities. The aftermath of the war also saw a significant increase in the popularity of the Caterpillar Tractor Company, which shot the company to the pinnacle of the world heavy machinery business and marked the beginning of massive acquisitions and the development of its first ventures outside of the United States in 1950. Expansion into developing markets with the production of wheel loaders, hydraulic excavator, etc. In 1951, the Caterpillar Tractor Company entered a new era and initiated a wave of acquisition to compound their growth and increase in market share. The first notable acquisition was the takeover of Traxxon Company and its production line. Traxxon Traxcavator and HT4 became the official Caterpillar Traxcavator until 1955, when the company began the production of all new 933, 955, and 977 models. Other significant acquisitions include Hindustan Motor Limited, which was renamed Caterpillar India, Vitelli SPA acquisition, and Shandong Engineering Manufacturing, and many others. Some selected Caterpillar heavy machinery, Cat 745 articulated trucks. This is a game-changing truck that can haul weighty loads across difficult terrains. The Cat 745 articulated has become a staple across many industries with its Cat C18 engines and a rated payload of 45.2 tons that's dependable enough to execute the toughest of tasks. Cat 420 Backhoe Loader With a load-sensing hydraulic piston pump, the Cat 420 Backhoe Loader provides a full hydraulic lifting and digging force, ensuring exceptional lift performance in many applications. Cat 320 Hydraulic Excavator the new CAT 320 hydraulic excavator is a groundbreaking machine that has revolutionized construction and mining projects with exceptional performance and industry standard factory installed technologies such as standard grade assists, precision leveling, bucket tilt settings, and a global navigation satellite system 
that provides operators with visual and audio guidance of the slope. R3300G Underground Mining Loader The R3300G Underground Mining Loader is built for high production demand and low cost per ton loading and tramming in small and medium scale underground mining operations. With 165 engine horsepower, the R3300G is powerful enough to provide unequal lugging force while digging together with torque rise that matches the transmission shift point. As a company that started with the local manufactured steam tractor, Caterpillar's story is an unending one because its legacy lives on with a series of innovative developments and cutting-edge technologies. Thank you for staying tuned to the end of this exciting episode. Give this video a thumbs up and smash the subscribe button so you can get notified every time we put up another video.